Tommy said that he was the audio director, slash designer, slash doing all the audio for every Amico game on multiple occasions. I'm the, not only, uh, yes, I'm the CEO of the company and president, and, and I design a lot of the games personally, but also every single game I'm the audio director on as well. I'm the audio director, music supervisor, and sound designer on all of the games. I'm personally making sure that every single game that you know that i'm do that i'm the audio director as well i kind of i do it on the weekends and by the way I, I i am actually doing all of the sound design yeah. and but quite frankly i haven't been doing music and sound design for the rest of other games because i'm doing all of the music and sound design uh with with joey curris the same person who's been my one of my best friends for like over uh, gosh 40, almost coming on 40 years, 35 years at least. Uh, we're we're focused on doing all the sound design and stuff for all the new and television Amico games. So you're, you're designing all the sound and the music for all of these games. Composing music on there. Are you going to actually do some tracks on there yourself or are you oh, going to have somebody yeah. else do it? Or... That's or cool. Just, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> Yeah, no, now, I'm doing I'm doing all, all the audio on all the games. I'm personally uh oh, personally nice. involved with John Carpenter. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? You know. Uh and you know, music takes a little longer, but I'm the um audio director and music supervisor for all of them. I know a thing or two about audio, it said. Um and so we do all of the audio. So here you go. You can, you know, you don't need to supply audio, you know. Tommy and his team, his audio team, you know, are going to supply that for you. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm personally audio directing every single game. We have 50 games. When asked about showing videos with music that he did, he personally brought up Astro Smash in response. Uh, he wants to see more videos of gameplay with your audio design. In, in, because it has the one song that I think you've also made yourself. Well, 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 uh, well, yeah, but but we have done a lot of that. Yeah, like yeah we yeah. put out we put out a an nice Astro talker, Smash video yeah. which has all of the audio. On the 2021 update Astro Smash gameplay video, Tommy said in a comment regarding the audio. Thanks. I spent a lot of time in both the game design and the audio design to make that happen. Also, he literally said the following. This is asked a couple of times. Um, what what music? What games have you been uh, composing music for? Um, oh. Astro Smash. Um... If we watch or listen to the deep dive video they did for Astro Smash, the music isn't easy to hear in the whole video because they talk throughout. But at certain points, they stop and we can hear enough to get an idea of what it is. Now that we've heard that, let's look at this page from a stock music site and listen to the preview for the song on the page. The recent Astro Smash video that BBG Entertainment recently uploaded automatically got tagged with this stock music track by YouTube, too. Unfortunately, the description shows that they believed Tommy's claim that he did the music. They uploaded two other videos.
This is Metal Sci-Fi Universe by Leo Valentin Natali and Morgan Sansus. From that same video, it later switches to show a different level in the game. This is Celtic Uprising by Matthew McGaughy. This doesn't seem to be a stock track, but a legit song uploaded on actual music platforms. Now, there's nothing wrong with using stock music if it was licensed properly, but it's another example of how Tommy Tallarico takes music from elsewhere and then acts like he actually composed it and wants all the credit for it. And along with the Battle Tank stolen artwork scandal, it shows how much effort they were putting into their games. Of course, if that last track is in stock music and Tommy just took it, and in television, then sold the game to BBG Entertainment, then things could get spicy. And so, nobody can say the audio was still a work in progress. In the video from the 1st of January 2021, Tommy stated that the music was finished. The thing that I want to mention is this is the final music as well. So we have the music in and everything's together on the menu screen. 